Yeah! Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Blueprint Tycoon. Now this is a resource management kind of base building style game and it's hard to describe because it's very simplified from everything. So I started the tutorial, but I'm gonna walk you guys through it. Howdy! We've been given these islands and tasked with setting up a settlement to gather and profit from their natural resources. Because whenever you come to a new land, you want to exploit absolutely everything you can for profit. As your assistant, I will guide you on your journey to building a successful, efficient, and profitable settlement. Workers are the foundation of any enterprise. Let's hire some by building houses. Because the only way to get new people is to build houses and they automatically come with. So, you press R to rotate, you do the thing with the thing and the thing and the thing, do like that, and then that. And then you got two houses, your blimps come over and then they start construction somehow, and then you cancel build mode and you need to build a marketplace. So, the marketplace- God damn it, this music is too cheerful! Oh jeez, it just stopped. Sorry, that was like- I don't know what it was, but that was like destroying my brain. Okay, this is much better. So, we need to build a marketplace to be able to provide our workers with the appropriate sustenance for food. So with the marketplace, you want to build it, I don't know, kind of close maybe? I'm not 100% sure what. But you also need to build roads to be able to get everything going from one place to another. Like this, we just get our marketplace to be able to deliver food to the workers' houses so that they can live! Which is handy, I suppose, for whatever you're trying to do. But also, you need to provide the marketplace with fresh food to be able to do that. So, in order to do that, you need to- Oh, I can actually put these kind of right there, and then build a road over there! Now, the cool thing about this game and what makes it really interesting is that it's all on this blueprint grid, and it doesn't get any more detailed than this. It is basically narrowed down to just the gameplay and only the gameplay, which is kind of neat. And then, when you build your things, you need to build routes, because apparently these things don't navigate by themselves. You need to coordinate everything, which I imagine means that the game gets way more complicated as you go down the road. And it just told me there are no routes. I, I know. I'm aware. Okay, so once you do that, you need to left click, get a vegetable to go over there so you can deliver the vegetables, make the new- Oh, I gotta follow the tutorial! It's, I'm sorry, I know what I'm doing. Bam! Just like that. And then you can make another one, like that. And then you got your vegetables being delivered from what I can only assume are farms? To there! And then immediately the food goes to the workers' houses. Everything is moving freely. Okay. This is where I didn't get in the tutorial, so this is new to both you and me. Building materials- Oh, brrr. Buildings require materials to be built. Build a wood harvester near the construction, it doesn't have to be linked to houses. You got it, baby! We're gonna get wood up in this honker! So it doesn't need to be connected to houses, so that means that I can just put them... Kind of in a line... Maybe? This is probably a bad place to put it, but... Okay, now we need to set up a route. So we need to make the tool, drag route tool, set up a work- Am I already on the- Oh god. Ah. Oh, over here, okay, I got it. So select from building, the wood harvester to the construction. Okay, well that was easy. Add some roads and watch as goods are harvested and ready to be delivered. You got it, baby! Boink! And just like that, we've got wood going into the construction site. Build four more workhouses and remember to connect them to the marketplace so the workers can get their food, you can speed up time. Blah, blah, blah! I'm an expert at this already, you don't need to worry about me. Haboink! Habooski! Haborski! Habonk! Uh, Habonkski. There we go. And... Flabba babu. There we go. Now we can get some researchers. Build two researchers' houses with roads connecting to the marketplace. Wow, shit! I didn't know that we were gonna need all of that! Okay, so we need to build researchers' houses because apparently they're better! And they live in a higher class society than simple menial workers, apparently. Well, this sounds like we need someone to overthrow the government already, but that's besides the point. Okay. So I'm gonna slot them in uh, just here, and they just need to connect to the marketplace. So you're kind of getting the basic principle of everything here. Oh shit. Oh shit. How do I- HOW DO I GET RID OF THAT?! OH GOD! This- Oh, thank goodness. My perfect order is not gonna be perturbed. These researchers want some apples. Well, who gives a shit what the researchers want?! We're trying to get by with just vegetables! How are we gonna survive on fruit?! Ah, god damn it. Bunch of needy bastards. 
All right, fine. We'll do it your way, sack of shit. Build a road going from there, and then I'll build a route. I know what I'm doing. Get that to there. Apples, get that to... Oh, shit. Get that to there. Bam. So we got our routes. The apples are being delivered, and the apples will be delivered from there to the researcher houses. And then hopefully... Oh, we build a lab. Okay, can do. Building a lab. Where do I do this? Uh, I, I, I suppose this doesn't need to be established anywhere near anywhere else. Hopefully. So I could just put it right here along the roadside. And... Habuski! Lab allows us to research new tech to craft better, more valuable goods. Yeah! So that we can sell it and make a profit! Because that's the only thing that I care about. This is, this is affecting me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick. Oink! Okay. Doesn't that look lovely? Click on the lab. You got it, boss! Pick research. You got it, boss! Tier 2! I don't know what that means. We require red vials to complete this research. Build a red vial crafter near the lab. How many things am I gonna craft? Holy shit! Okay, anyway. Oink! And I guess we're gonna put this right... Why does it have an input and an output? Yeah, I don't like the look of that. Oink! Red vials are made with wood and stone. Build wood and stone harvesters, set routes up to the red vial crafter, and watch red vial crafted. Okay. Oink. And I'm assuming that I gotta connect around the back way, so let's just do that. Oink. And I can slot something else up there. So I need stone harvesters, and I can do that. Let's try out with just one first. Oink. And then we got that. And do I need to... Yeah, I need to set up routes. So we need this to go there. New route. And then we need this to go there. New route. And then we got wooden stone being delivered. Easy peasy lemon squeeze me. And everything's good. Yeah? Oh wait, this one doesn't have a route. I need to get this to there. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Now that we have some red vials, let's use them in the lab. We're doing it! We're making science! It's a beautiful thing. Okay. So we need... Red vials used to the lab, so we need the l l boink. Okay, the lab is working. Let's wait for research to finish. You can speed up time with the bottom of the top bar. All right, boink. Look at that. And this is just the beginning of this game. I saw a trailer for this game. The ending was just a sprawling smorgasbord of an island filled with nothing but crafting and researching and a whole bunch of cool stuff going on. So there's a lot of potential in this game. I just don't know how to do it yet. Are we doing it? How do I know? Oh, we did it. Tier 2 unlocked. I don't know what that means. Tier 2 building materials, in this case, iron ingots. Oh, God! How do I know how to build that? Build a coal harvester next to the iron harvester and set up a route to deliver coal to the storage. Okay. I don't have... Okay, coal. Whoa! Oh, calm down there. Whoa, getting all jiggly with it. All right, put that there. Whoa. Oh, I didn't even see that. Colonize? I want to do that? I didn't even know I had this over here. Oh, that's for making muns. Okay, then we need iron ore. So we need, whoa, no fertility here. No fertility? Why do I need, why do I need people banging butts to be able to get iron out of the ground? There's a joke in there about something getting hard, but I'm not... I'm not having none of that. That is- that is horrible. Okay, but I can do that. Because apparently there's fertility up there and I- I ruined my chances at having more iron. Okay, build a core harvester. Set up a route to deliver to the storage. Can do. Cool. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, route, storage, iron ore. Okay, route, storage, coal. Got it! Okay, so that should be good, question mark? Now we have the base materials for crafting iron ingots, build an iron ingot crafter. Good God! It's endless amounts of craftivity. Oh my, okay, so that means... Ooh, shit. I shouldn't have built it so dense in here. Ah, uh, it's getting problematic. Um... I don't know if people would be able to go through one building to get to another building. That makes sense, right? People could cut through the market, and they'd be able to get where they need to go, right? Question mark? So if I build this here and then I build this here and this here then we have something going on and I can set up a route from the storage to the iron ingot crafter bang 
Okay, that's good, right? I hope so. That better be good, because if it's not good, whoa. Oh, I didn't even see that. Whoa, what is going on in there? Why does that look like Crying Child from Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, God. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what is happening? Oh, God. That's so weird. Oh, it's so cool. I don't know what's going on, but I think it- Whoa! Produce waste, which needs to be properly disposed of. Oh, come on! That's so many requirements. How is anyone supposed to keep track of all this bullshit? Okay, waste disposal set up a route from the iron ingot crafter to the waste disposal. Oh, okay. Waste disposal. Shit, man! What the hell? Alright, we're gonna do this like this because I, I, I may have made an error. So we got that. Now that can go there and then the waste disposal will be there. Set up a route. Hada ba ding. Hada ba boom. Go the waste to there. Alrighty then! Now set up a route to deliver iron ingots to construction. Oh god damn it! Why is that gotta be so? Why is that gotta be so much? Okay. Oink. Booby doo doo. Yeah! All right. So we got that. We're doing great. I think. Who knows, really? All right. Great job. The iron ingot supply chain is fully functional. You've learned how to hire workers and fulfill their needs, set up routes, research new tech, and new goods types while disposing of waste. Next, we'll learn how to create our own blueprints to maximize efficiency. Click next to continue to the next scenario. Good God. In this scenario, we'll learn how to make our own highly efficient blueprints. What? Let's try to gather ore and craft into gold ingots and then we can learn- What? Build a gold ore harvester in the highlighted selection. Oh my God. Okay. How about I tuck it into the corner? That seems more efficient. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Harvesters and crafters of carbon blueprints with gold new blueprint. What? What is this? Oh, is this what was going on in the middle of the box? Holy shit. Oh, man. Okay. Goal is to gather the goods and drop them in the output. You can drag windows around by holding the left mouse button on the window tile. Okay. On the right side, you can see the blueprint map, and on the left side, you can see the workers and tools you have available. This is the blueprint we're gonna make. The workers will grab the goods, grab them, move them to the output, and drop them. First, we need to equip the worker and the harvester so we can use a gather action. Okay. Workers move one square at a time, so let's change the starting position on the lower left to a better place. Oh my goodness! Ooh! Grab. So we want to grab that. Oh, gather. Sorry, gather. Item will be spawned in that location. Select the grab action so this worker grabs the item when it's spawned. Grab. Output. Drop. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my brain is gonna explode! Oh, my god! Do I have to do that for all the buildings? Oh god! I didn't want this much micromanagement. Man, this is gonna take me forever to properly learn. Learn. Okay, so we put this here. Let's rotate it like this so we got an input and an output. Okay, so select the gold new blueprint. Oh god! Oh, what am I looking at? This is the crafter blueprint. You have inputs, welds, craft outputs, and final output. The goal is to grab the goods from the inputs, drop them in the welds, and use a worker to weld them together. When all the goods are welded, the crafter output will spawn- <laughs> My god! What the frick? Holy poop! Ugh. On the blueprint, we have two available workers on the welder and card tools. We'll have green worker grab the goods and position them on the welds. The blue worker will weld them together and carry the crafted gold and get to the output. Equip the cart on the green worker. The cart allows a worker to carry up to three goods. Okay. Three goods. Select the start position. Start. Select the start position. Grab. 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 So we got three of them because we got the cart. I get that. Move to the first goal. Drop. Move. Drop. Move. Drop. So we grab three. We drop three. Now we need to set up the welder. So the blue worker. There's a green worker and the blue worker. So we need to set up the welder. Start that. From here. We need to weld left, weld down to weld it into one ingot, and then grab the final product that will be made once you weld those together, 
and then drop it in the output section. Oh, I got it. Save the blueprint. Wow. Your workers are currently idle because the building has none of the input materials. Set up a worker route from the gold harvester to the ingot crafter. Well, I gotta set up the road first, jeezums. Man, these guys do not make it easy for me. So I'm going to do, for now, I'll just do that. Whew. Oh. Woof. 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 But you can see. The thing that I did, that's what we were looking at before. In that square is exactly every step that I made. So not only are we building on a macro scale out here on this island, not only are we doing that, but also deep down inside it, there's an even smaller grid where crafting is being done. So you can see how the simplicity of this is masked by the sheer complexity of its intricacies, of its inner workings, of its inner machinations. So, wow. Holy crap. Time to make some money. Okay, this is gonna be finally the reward for all this bullshit. Workers need to be paid or they will become unhappy. Yeah, or starve to death. You know, one or the other. Okay, contracts. Right now the only contract available is the stone contract, which pays 101 per item. Grab the stone contract. Okay, 15 goods per day. Sell some stone by building a stone harvester with the worker route to the delivery storage. You got it. So, stone harvester and delivery storage. I can do that. Easy peasy. Stone harvester. We'll build it right here on here. And then we need to road it up. Road it up and then we can make routes. Boink. And then boink. Okay, so we got stone going there. But do we have... Oh, we're on the same place that we were before. Oh, handy that. It made it exactly the way I made it. How, how cool. Okay. Sell some stone. Okay. So. Speed up time. By building the harvester. Wait, what? Has no- Oh, we need to make a blueprint in it? Default blueprint. Okay. The blueprint's already there. We just need to make it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So now it's being done. I forgot that it actually needed a blueprint, but the one in here is not too complicated because it was just gather and then deposit. So, oh, congratulations, you just made some money. Cool! All right, but it seems like our money is decreasing. I don't like the sound of that. There's more profitable contract now available for gold ingots. Gold ingots are already being crafted and sent to the port. We need some way of moving them to the delivery storage. That's where airships come in. Airships transport large quantities of goods in between storages or ports. Airships are built in your main building, select it now. This is the main building where you can build airships, training ships, and tokens. Click the airship button to queue up a construction. You got it, baby. We'll do the default blueprint. Boink. I don't want to set up a new blueprint for that. That would take too long and I, my brain would explode halfway through. My brain has exploded like three times already, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, next. Wait for the airship to finish construction whenever it's done doing that. Remember, you can speed up time. Ha, boink. And bam. Okay, so it's done. The airship is built now. Let's build a trading route to support. Airship. Activate new route. We're taking gold from the port and setting it to delivery storage. And we need to pick gold ingots as our thing. So if that was complicated, we just pick the airship and we created a new route inside of the airship from the port to delivery storage and we had to select that. So now it's done and now it's going to go. Open the contract windows, which is down here. Select gold. Bada bing. Can deliver 15 goods per day. Gold pays better, so try to deliver all of that. So we're going to decrease stone. Increase gold. I guess we can just max out gold, but I don't know how many gold we can produce. I'm going to guess 10. All right, that'll do. Boink. Top right, you can see current active. Nice. If not enough goods are present, the delivery storage workers will become idle. I would hope that they would default to stone as well. If you have idle workers, you will see a message of the amount of missed income due to not having enough goods. Balance your contract amounts to maximize profits to ensure- Okay, so you do have to balance it, alright. We already researched tier 2, we can upgrade our buildings, craft some green tokens in the main building. You got it, baby! Main. Green. I don't know what these are. Let me see what the- Ah, oh, can't even do that. Okay, got it. We're building whatever the hell green tokens are! They look like green bitcoins, but I don't know if that's gonna help us. Boink! Alright. 
The gold ingot crafter is not producing as much as it could because it does not have enough gold ore. Upgrading the gold ore harvester to increase the speed of the blueprint. Okay. You got it. Gold ore harvester. Slow down time a little bit. Upgrade. Wait, no, we don't have enough green. Oh, there we go. Why wasn't it there before? I thought I already made that, but apparently not. Let's see. All right. Great, now the harvester, more workers will blah, 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 blah. Gold ore harvester, blah, 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 blah. Okay, upgrade the worker route. Select the gold ore harvester. Upgrade the worker route. How do I do that? Oh. Add worker? Yeah? Is that what I wanted? I think so. What? Oh my god! Oh, here! Okay, that was confusing. Tier 2 worker routes move faster and carry up to two goods at once. Look at that, a new mission has been added to the contracts. Missions are special limited contracts that must be fulfilled. Mission is asking us to supply 20 microchips. I don't know how to do that! Copper and sand, but there's no fertility on the island! Oh, we get to colonize! Ah! Ah! I don't know! Okay, so that, I, I had to wrap my head around it real quick, but we're gonna colonize it, we got a port. When you colonize your first island, you get a free ship, which is awfully nice. Thank you for that. Island has great fertility for copper and sand, which are two goods that need to craft microchips. Okay, I have a feeling we're gonna need more airships, aren't we? I'll just build two and have them ready. Okay, build a copper harvester and a sand harvester. You got it, baby! Oh, that's very fertile! I don't like saying that. Not enough workers. Ah, shit. Do we gotta build them over here? I'm not building them over there. Fuck that. I'm building them over here where I don't have to worry about shit. All right. Ha-boing! Ha-boing! And... Ha-boing! And why not... Why not another up here? Ha-boing! Okay. Habit a hop! Habit a hope! Okay, we got more workers, and hopefully they're gonna cross the sea and actually go where I need them. But who knows, they might be lazy. Okay, we got that. Okay. Then we need copper. Oh, it overlapped. I'm gonna destroy that one. Okay. We're just gonna do two. We're gonna do two. Two's good enough for me. Get these to the port. Boink. Okay. Alright. Then we need crafters for microchips, which I guess we can put them right here. Can't we? Makes sense, right? This goes here, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. They all go there. And then the road connects back to the other side. Okay. Now you have all the necessary stuff. So we need to do default blueprint, because I'm not doing that. Default. I guess when you put a default blueprint, it just applies it to everything across the board, so... Hopefully when that happens, it'll be done. Maybe I can upgrade these? Yes, I can. Upgrade. Nice. So I suppose I could just keep building these, which would be nice. Okay, microchips are being produced, and then delivery storage and complete the mission. Okay, so... Delivery storage over there. Ah, shit. So, go there, and then port to port. Aw, oh, come on! Use a ship to transport... Okay, new route from there to there. Give me microchips. And then... Boink! Okay. Hurry up, you boat bastard! We got microchips to deliver! Alright, and then we can do this from here to there. No goods autofill possible. Open a new... Okay, we just gotta do this manually then. And then microchips over there, and everything is hunky-dory. On the island, we're doing great work. All the workers are doing what they need to do to work. We got upgrades across the board. We're building lots of coinage. We need more wood, but I'm not worried about that. That's like a later problem to have. We do have a lot of waste, though, but I'm not worried about that either. Shit, we need to take care of the trash problem. Fuck. Okay, so I need to edit this one's route, edit route, to also bring the waste over. There we go. Okay, got it. Bam, microchips. So, new route. Habuski! So that's doing that. Let me get this other one doing it as well. Because that would be handy dandy. Bada boop, bada boop, bada boop, 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 bang! Baby! Oh, the transports can carry all of them. Oh, I didn't know that! Well, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have done that so much. Alright, move faster, baby! We got stuff to do! Hopefully we can... Nah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what we're gonna do with all the garbage, but I need someone to do the- uh, we only need one of these. At a route. Let's see, clear route, go from port to giz, airships, and eh, shit. Move- move trash here. M move- move trash here. Yeah, that's good. I don't know. It's good enough, alright. So long as microchips are delivered here, which we got a whole bunch of them, so hopefully we can change this out and go more 
Microchip route. Okay, everything's good. All right, everything's cool. Modify the contract amounts. We're doing that. We've got five of 11 microchips, but we need actually, we need 10 more. Uh, I think we're good. Oh shit, why do we have so many stuck in there? All right, screw everything else. We're going all microchips. All my money's on the chip of micro. Yeah, we did it. Cool, nice. That concludes your training. Yeah! That was just a tutorial! Holy shit! I'm not ready! Okay! No! Uh-uh! I-I'm bailing! I quit! I'm done! Save this! Okay! Done! Holy shit! I feel like I just learned another language in about 30 minutes. My god! My brain is filled with information! I hope your frontal lobes are throbbing with intelligence at the moment. But either way! That is Blueprint Tycoon. I forget how much it is, but it's on Steam. It's not too expensive. There's a lot of depth to this game. So if this is your style of game, this is right up your alley because it's about as complex as it gets and micromanagerial as you could possibly want. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello, Mr. Clown Man. How are you doing? Oh, okay. Goodbye. Oh, that's a mean joke.